Hello to all my friends and subscribers. Salamu alaikum to all my Arabic friends. Sukam tane, kesahe, and sangaye to all my Pakistani and Indian friends. Magandang araw sa lahat. Buenos tardes. And of course, to all the people who are watching, good day to all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And here I'm going to make AutoCAD easy and handy tool for you. Today we're going to talk about how to navigate on your drawings. When we say navigate, it means how to explore your drawings and most especially on how to be savvy in doing it. The first and should I say one of the basic thing to navigate your AutoCAD drawings is to have a 3 button mouse similar to this. This is my actual Lenovo wireless mouse and for 5 long years, I never met any single problem using it. I found the size to be perfect for me or what I mean is that this wireless mouse is not too small and not too big for perfect maneuver while working on your drawings. So if you don't have one, try to treat yourself by having one because I'm telling you it will make your life easy and handy using this amazing invention. Of course you can have any brand of your choice as long as it has a wheel button because it is or it will significantly affect your movement as we can see later on. Please note that I will not encourage you to be dependent on icons, but to be much more familiar in using keyboard shortcuts instead. So obviously you will be needing a keyboard to do the AutoCAD. To discuss about navigation, I have here a full architectural working drawings where we can practice on. This was one of my projects in Elegant City, which includes plans, elevations, sections, some kitchen and toilet details, and some spot details as well. Of course, you can open any files of your choice, or you can go to start homepage, explore sample drawings, mechanical samples, and you can choose any of these AutoCAD files that appears here. The first command that I'm gonna show you is pan, as in Peter Pan. The keyboard shortcut is P, enter, or space bar. Notice that your mouse pointer will become an open hand or a palm and while pressing and holding the left mouse button, you will see that the hand is closing as if it's grabbing something. As you do that, move your mouse and as you can see, you are moving the entire interface as if you are grabbing the entire window to view various parts of your drawings. Press escape to terminate the command. The easiest shortcut of this pan is pressing and holding the wheel button of your mouse. Let's try. And as you can see, it has the same effect as pan command. I don't have any idea why it is called pan. So if you know the reason, please comment down below. If holding the wheel button is pan, then scrolling or rolling the same button will zoom the view in and out. When we say zoom, it is basically magnifies or reduce the view or simply making the views bigger and smaller. Note that you are not making any changes on the any objects on the drawings but only the views. You can also use the combination of pan and zoom using this wheel button so it is not hard to see how this small button can make the navigation so easy. Aside from the wheel mouse, you can access the zoom command here in the ribbon under the views tabs and navigate panel. If the navigate panel doesn't appear in your ribbon, right click on any visible panel, then choose show tabs if the whole tabs isn't visible and show panel if the panel doesn't appear on your ribbon. Then check the navigate. Here in the navigate panel, we can also see the pan command icon and the zoom icon is this plus symbol with a magnifying glass on it and beside it is a pull down arrow or a fly out and when you click it you will still see many zoom options that we can perform. The zoom in will zoom the current view twice the magnification size. If the current size of your view is this big, zoom in will approximately make it bigger twice its size as you can see and the opposite of this zoom in is this zoom out. Click it, then it will make the view approximately two times smaller than the current magnification. Also notice that the last option that you did will be saved on, on top of the navigate panel. Then there is zoom extent. This will show all the objects that are present in your drawings. You can either click this icon or type the keyboard shortcut Z. Then in the command line, 
you will see that all these other options are also present on the flyouts. So let's type E or extend, enter. As you can see, all the items on your drawing will be shown in one view. When you enter the keyboard shortcut Z, the default options is real time. So type Z, enter. This is the default option. The real time, it, which means if you don't enter any option, the real time will be automatically executed. Just press enter to know what zoom real time is. Hold the left mouse button and as you move it while holding, the view will zoom in and out. Zoom in when you move the mouse upward and zoom out when you move the mouse down right before your very eyes. That is why it's called real time. Let's try the other options. Let's type Z for zoom. Enter. So we have here so many options and to choose the letter for the corresponding option, the hint is you need to type the character with the blue color font. Often it is the first letter but not at all times. Like for example, you like to choose the window option, type W because W is the blue color letter. Zoom windows will allow you to select the part that you want to magnify using a window as you can see in the command line, it is asking for your first corner. So let's pick on the drawing area for the first corner. Let's say this and specify the opposite corner. Let's say I want to magnify this elevation. So I will create a window to cover all this elevation, then pick. So there is your zoom window. Zoom, enter. P, as in previews, enter. Zoom previous will take you back to the last view. A tip for using the zoom window option, the smaller the window you create, the closer the magnification. So let's try zoom, enter, W, enter. So I wanted to magnify this view. I'm going to create a very small window. And the magnification is big. Zoom, enter, P, enter, to go back to the last zoom. Zoom object will magnify any objects or give you the whole picture of the object that you selected. So let's try. Zoom, enter, O, enter. So let's pick a very small object. Let's try this. Then enter. So this is the whole picture of the object that I selected. Again, zoom, previews, to go back. Zoom dynamic is almost the same as zoom window. Type Z, enter, D, or dynamic, enter. Then a zoom view box will appear. This white box that you can see on the drawing area. Click on the center of the screen. Then move the mouse down to resize your zoom view box. Then target the object that you wanted to zoom inside the box. Then right click to enter. Zoom scale is used when you are managing the view on your paper space. I have an example here to show. Let's go to paper space. See this trellis is scaled to 1 is to 20 meters and this molding groove is scaled into 1, 1 is to 15. But as you can see, the drawing is out of scale and too small and not fitting the space provided for it. So how can we set the correct view or the correct scale? First, pick on the viewports. Right click on it and make sure that the display is not locked. So yes, it is locked. So click no. Now it is unlocked. So you can resize the view. How can you obtain this 1 is to 15 scale? Type Z, enter, S, enter for scale. Enter the scale factor NX or NXP. Type 1, then slash 15. XP. This is 1 is to 15 meters. This is now the correct scale. Don't forget to unlock your viewports. Click the viewports, right click, display lock, yes. Now you have the correct scale. This is your 1 is to 15. Zoom extend to show the whole drawing. So this is your paper space and we will have a separate video on managing your paper space views. There you have it, the pan commands and all the different options of doing the zoom command. Thank you for watching. If you find this video useful, 
Please do me a favor by clicking the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icons for future contents. Thanks very much and God bless.